I've been trying to practice mindfulness of thoughts this week, and it is absolutely impossible. Anxiety-inducing, stress-increasing, and dare I say, torture. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Seeming a little dysregulated. I am dysregulated from a practice that I thought was supposed to help me. Mindfulness of thoughts is becoming overwhelmingness of thoughts. Okay, okay. I can see that it's challenging. When doing this practice, are you focusing your thoughts and trying to be mindful of your current thoughts that are specifically stressful, anxiety-inducing, or full of anger? And painful thoughts, yes. Yes, also that. That's kind of what I figured. When we're practicing this skill, when we're trying to develop the skill of being mindful of our current thoughts, and we're reflecting on the times we've been successful, it can be really challenging to try and practice this with some of those really difficult thoughts and emotions. Wait, there are times to be mindful of thoughts outside of the angry, anxiety-inducing, or stressful ones? Yeah. If we're trying to develop this skill and make it more of a practice, then we can do it with neutral or positive thoughts, too. Ugh, how could I be so stupid? Stupid, huh? Is that a judgment or an observation? <sighs> judgment. What could an observation be about right now? Well, I can observe that I was willing to try this skill, and I can observe that I'm frustrated because it's not going the way I think it should go. And then I can observe that I hear myself saying should, which means there's probably something that I could be doing right now. Awesome. When we switch from judgment to observation, especially in regards to ourselves, we can open the door for compassion and self-understanding. Yeah, I think I prefer that over calling myself stupid. I actually prefer that too, because you're not stupid. You need some help and you need some skills and you're trying to get them. That's anything but stupid. If we're going to put a judgment on it, that's fantastic. Now, you've been trying to use this scale mindfulness of current thoughts and white knuckling it, just being as willful as you can and be mindful of every single difficult thought that comes through. Would you like to know some exercises for how to be mindful of current thoughts that don't have to be so difficult? <laughs> I mean, obviously, DBT fairy. Yes, it seems silly and that that might be obvious to you. It's not obvious to me, though, because I'm not assuming what you're thinking and I'm not a mind reader. So I'm asking for clarification instead of assuming what I think you need or want. <sighs> you all right? What's happening right now? What are you doing? Um, trying to be non-judgmental and curious? I am not used to that. Well, do you still want to hear some exercises you can do in practicing mindfulness of current thoughts? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, one strategy we can use is that if a thought comes into our head and it's starting to permeate, we can bring it outside of our head by saying it out loud. For example, let's say you're walking down the street and you see a tree leaning and anxiety steps in and says, that tree is going to fall and crush me right now. You could say to yourself out loud as many times as you want, that tree is going to fall and crush me right now. That tree is going to fall and crush me right now. Until it sounds ridiculous, you could say it slower. That tree is going to fall and crush me right now. Or some other way to take it outside of our head so you can see it's just a thought. And when we say it over and over again, it kind of gets silly and goes away, as most thoughts do. Whew, I like that. Keep going. Sometimes when a thought arises, we can imagine what it would be like if we didn't think of the thought as fact. We can counter the thought with a thought that reminds us it's just a thought. Counter a thought with a thought. Got it. We can also practice loving our thoughts as they come by and come through without overly attaching to them. Is that kind of like radical acceptance? That is kind of like radical acceptance. Yeah, see, I'm getting it. We could also ask ourselves, where did this thought come from? And then sit back as our mind uncovers why. It seems like these exercises are aimed at making it so I don't over-identify with a thought, become overwhelmed with a thought, or think that a thought is fact. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. Well, no wonder it was so challenging before I was leading with some intense thoughts. And eventually, when those really challenging thoughts do come up, you'll be able to use this skill because you've practiced with neutral and positive thoughts so that your brain knows exactly what's going on. Are you practicing right now? Yeah, I'm practicing right now.